Gamers, what is up? Let's have a little chat while I use my last bit of energy for the day. Um, I'm getting so many comments about burnout. Mtest, uh, you blew through the game, now you're gonna burn out. Uh, you're gonna hate on the game just like you hated on Genshin. And uh, there's a lot of comments like this, whether it's on the Clips channel or the main channel. Uh, Mtest, you rushed through the game and now you've ruined it. You're going to be tilted. And uh, I wanted to address a couple of these things. Let's start off with some really positive stuff. Number one, I really enjoy Honkai Star Rail. Um, I thought that the story so far has been pretty interesting. Um, the third planet may be a little bit slow, but I think it's set up a lot of lore uh, for who the MC is, who the different uh, Ion or Aeons or whatever you want to call it are, uh, the gods of the game, and uh, I wasn't too worried about it. I thought there's been some pretty interesting puzzles overall, and I had a really good time with the content that's available. But in one of my recent videos, I talked about, I wish there was more. I wish there was Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma levels of content. Like, if you think, if you start a Genshin day one, today, and you could play all the way to the end of Inazuma, all five of the islands, etc., etc., maybe you even can do the Chasm, you'd be playing for months. You'd be having something to do for, like, a month or two. You would not be able to blow through that in a week. In Honkai Star Rail, I am at the end of all possible content in a week. Now, I understand that I'm a streamer, and I'm making content, and I'm grinding on my live stream. I get that. Not everyone can do that. However, that being said, um, it was still only about a week of content, of meaningful content, and now all I can do is energy. And I don't think it's a bad thing to want to play more and experience more. And I don't think that me grinding the game is, is a bad thing because I, I have to get ahead. I have to be able to make guides and I want to make content for you gamers. And I'm about to get a god roll right here and this is going to be content right now for all of you. And it's potentially good! Okay, so listen. I, I want to play Honkai all the time. Because I like it so much. But I am already getting slightly frustrated in the fact that I can't. And I am one of the crazy people that's been using Jade, so I can play a little bit more and progress my account. But I want to explain why it's so frustrating. I love the progression of this game. I like knowing that I got a cool roll. Maybe I'll get a bunch of crit right here. And I like getting stronger. But I can only get stronger uh, when Hoyoverse lets me get stronger. And because of that, I can only level up a limited amount of units at one time. And because I can only level up a limited amount of units at one time, I can't show you if this E6 Pela is worth building. I can't show you if Serval is actually secretly OP, but everyone's sleeping on her. I can't show you why people are calling Hook SS tier. I can't show you it because it's literally impossible. Even if I was to spend money, I can't level up everyone. Tier lists have Arlen ranking high. And I wish that I could. And that's why it's so frustrating. Because I love the game. I love the characters of the game. I want to show you the game, but I'm not allowed. And so a lot of people are like, well, m -tashed. it's a gotcha game. You knew this. I know. I know that this is a problem. And that's why, uh, you know, I did make a second account so I could build some different units. But it's still frustrating to me because they have this amazing game that I'm not allowed to play. And people are like, oh, now you're going to quit Honkai Star Rail. And... I still have some guides that I want to make and everything, but to be honest with you, to be 100% candid with you, I'm very scared of weekly resin usage and waiting six weeks for a couple crumbs and things to do and playing the game for two and a half years the way I did with Genshin because it almost made me quit content creation. It, it ruined content creation for me. The past few weeks, I've had so much fun making guides, covering characters, getting those drops, getting that five star, doing that pull, sharing it with you guys. And I have come to a point where things have slowed down on this account. I, I can't do anything. I, I, I can't do anything. And I 
I just feel like these games have so much good in them that gets bogged down by by the gotcha and the rules. And I wanted to play it because it looked cool to me. And I played it, and I loved it, and I enjoyed it. And can you sue me for being frustrated that I can't enjoy it more? If I was able to grind up every character, I would be putting in 10 hours building up Pela. The next day, I'd build up 10 hours building March 7th. I would make a guide on them. I would show you how good they can possibly be so you could spend your time building up those characters. But right now, I can't. And everyone might have a Pela sitting there for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, even though she's awesome. Or, or you go all the way down the line. You build up your Pela. You get her to level 70 and you go, she's kind of trash. What the hell? I wish someone would have warned me about this. In other games, I would be able to. In other situations, I'd be able to. And as a content creator that, that wants to help people out and figure things out, I can figure things out at a snail's pace at this point. And so am I burnt out? No. Burnout is when you're grinding Genshin Impact for two years, there's no endgame content, and, and you just keep slamming your head at it and trying to make videos, and, and, and you've got nothing to really say or do. Then you're burning out. Me, I don't have anything to do. It's not, it's, not, it's not burnout. It's the fact that I just can't do anything else, and it's frustrating, and I want to do more. I want to play your game, Hoyoverse, but you won't let me play your game unless I make another account, or I spend money, and I can play for five more minutes. And that's the problem. That's the thing that's frustrating. That's the thing that I allude to in some of my videos. I don't want to freaking quit. I don't want to move on from the game. I just want to play more. And anyone who's like, oh, well, it's your fault. You burned through it. I feel like that's a stupid argument. I feel like it's, it's just, it's, it's like every content creator in the world plays games a lot because they want to get to the end game. They want to experience things. They want to explore things. And in other games, I'm going to give you a good example. Destiny 2, I could play PvP when I had nothing else to do. I could do raids and still make some progression. I could I could do activities. I could continually grind. I could try to get that god rule weapon. And I understand this isn't an MMO, but I, I wish it was. I wish I wish that I could just endlessly grind things. Because it's good. It's fun. I like this. I love the characters. I want to make all the teams. It's it's frustrating because it's like they have this awesome thing that I'm addicted to. And I can't do it. And uh, I understand I was getting myself into it. I understand that it's a gotcha game, and that's the rules. But it's kind of like, again, that feeling of just like, wow, what a wasted potential. And there's other people that, you know, you can only play for an hour a day. You can only play on your commute. And that's, that's you know, I'm sure you have lots of quests to do. I'm sure you have lots of things to do. But I guess I'm just... I'm just too hardcore for these types of games. And uh, it, it just makes me question long term, like, do I, need to, do I need to move on to Diablo 4 and to other games so that I can, I can grind and, and play them? Um, am I going to just keep going down this rabbit hole and, and, and resenting gotcha games and just hating them? It's not even, it's not even that, that I hate them. It's just like, I love, I love the game. Can you see how frustrating this is, though? Like, if you're watching this video and you're thinking like, oh, well, you did it to yourself. Are you seriously typing that without looking at me and realizing that I'm just a fan of the game? I'm not shit-talking the game. I'm not trying to roast the game and be like, ah, it's terrible. It's awesome. It's awesome. I want more. Can you not sympathize with that a little bit? And, and, and here's the big kicker, and I'll end it with this, is if I'm feeling this way, and I wish there was more, and I want to play more. You will get here too. You might just get here tomorrow. You might just get here in three days or a week. But if there's nothing to do, if there's no replayable content that you can get some sort of reward and progress, then you either just have to stop playing or you log in for five minutes a day. And, and some people are okay with that. But if you love the game right now, what are you going to do? And what are you going to feel when you just can't? It's frustrating. You cannot tell me it's not frustrating. Maybe, maybe I'm, again, the odd man out, but 
man, all these comments are just like, yeah, good. Uh, I'm glad you burnt out. You did it to yourself. You 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 grinded out these quests that you were really enjoying, and you and you progressed your account because you really enjoyed progressing it. And now you've got nothing to do. Good. I'm glad you're upset. And it's like, bro, can we like we just all want to enjoy this game? I enjoyed it a little bit faster because it's my job. But like, we're all in this same position eventually. You're all gonna run out of content eventually, and like sooner than I thought was gonna happen. I I thought. I thought it was going to be like maybe two weeks or three weeks. I thought it was going to be like, like a little bit longer than this, bro. Essentially, it's an unfinished game, like a like beyond unfinished game. Like they, they have so many things they would need to wrap, wrap up, so many more planets, so many th more things to do. And so, it, it, again, it's the cycle of I have this game that's going to take me years to finish. And I just don't know if I can go on that ride forever. I'm gonna make some guides. I'm gonna I'm gonna review some characters, but like what what do they want me to do? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a complainer. <laughs>